Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the support, you know, your healing and becoming one within yourself, embracing your beautiful gifts and being able to add me to the piece of your journey is truly a blessing to me. So with that being said, much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empath the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos has been very informative to you or just give you some good vibes and you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact that are going through some things that were at this time please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me on my videos as well as the channel and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today as I try to turn it up because I know a lot of us suffer from this um, it's like three hours of soothing headache, migraine pain, and anxiety relief, gentle waterfall, delta binarial beats. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Opus receiving, uh, receiving back love loving vibes from people that are on the same level as you yes it is a beautiful thing to be able to do that and you know with my community i'm so grateful and I'm, i feel so blessed that i was able to start my youtube channel um being able to help other empaths we truly go through some hard junk we really do and it's just a blessing for me to be able to put out videos and you know meditate and ask universe you know universe source god you know what what do you need me to go ahead and put out today? What do I need to let my brothers and sisters know to look for or, you know, let them know that they're not alone? And it's just to get that love back in, in return is truly a blessing. Y'all don't know how much y'all make me humble um, because I feel like I can open myself up. You know, I don't really worry about judgment or anything because I feel like nobody has a clean past. We have all did things we're not proud of, but we are not our past. Our past is what made us to what we are today. And, you know, and a lot of people pass judgment on you. And, you know, and it's a sad thing when you know you have changed. And, you know, I mean, we've had dark times. But, you know, it just it's just our former way of knowing we had to get to this point in life. And it's just uh, being able to do that and getting the love back from others and knowing, you know, you're not alone. You're not going crazy. There's... Uh, words for the things that we go through there's labels you know even though we don't like labels but it's good to know that the things that you're going through you can find words for because it's hard to actually look up saying okay I got this I got this going on I got that going on and the next thing you know I can put out a video and you're like oh that's what it's called oh thank you you know people think I'm crazy if I speak about this you know if they're not on the same level as us we're awoke you know, we you know, we went through awakening and just be able to go through all that and seeing things for what they truly are, knowing things are shifting, things are changing, things are coming out to the forefront. You know, you're seeing people without these masks on, you know, they, they people put up a lot of, you know, uh, faces for them to be seen to a certain extent, to a certain light when us as Hayokas being able to tell people, hey, you need to, you know, change this or hey, you need to go ahead and do that because we'll shake up some stuff. You know, like I told y'all before, we have a bad habit of rubbing people the wrong way. I'm going to pause for the calls, y'all. Hold on just a My bad, y'all. I, I don't want to turn my, my fan off and I got hot flashes like real quick. I'm like, oh, goodness, where that hot flash come from? I'm probably going through ascension right now. But um, going through these different things and being able to know you can receive love back is what you when you put it out is a blessing to be able to do you know there's times when i've asked myself am i doing the right thing if you know as people noticing the things that i put out you know um you you can you can be a youtuber and seeing other people can put up stuff within five ten minutes and they got 1k 2k whatever but I, then i had to stop put, categorizing myself and comparing myself to other people's channels because a lot of people 
have been, you know, doing this grind for years and years and years at a time. And plus, you know, a lot of them are doing reaction videos. They're doing um, uh, jokes or they're, you know, they're meeting other people and collaborating with big, you know, big famous YouTubers and stuff like that. But it's just a blessing for me to be able to do what I do. And even if it's like 100 people or 20 people, I'm blessed to be able to bring that awareness towards them because, you know, it takes time to be able to do what you do. You know, I tell anybody else that, you know, that they're, they're thinking about doing YouTube, you know, don't ever be discouraged. You know, um, it takes time to be able to do that. You have to be consistent about it. You know, I know some people that are subscribed to me, and I'm subscribed to them. You know, I try to get over to their channel. I have so much stuff going on where I keep myself busy. I try to stop by people's channels to show them support like they show mine because I don't want them thinking, oh, she, we, I always go to hers and then she can't ever come to mine. So I do apologize if I haven't got to your channel yet. I say I try to go ahead and stop by other people's channels. And plus, I'm, you know, I try to stay busy because it's like a lot of stuff is coming on my mind. You know, my dad's anniversary is coming up. So I try not to be on YouTube that much unless, you know, I'm answering comments, you know, sending out you know, things towards other people or, you know, uh, doing one-on-ones with them or whatever. You know, if anybody emails me, y'all know how to email me. You can go into my description uh, where it's at the, the about, you know, and if you haven't, just let me know if you sent me an email because I haven't been checking my email lately and I need to stop doing that um, and paying attention to it. But if y'all ever try to get, I always try to tell people, you know, even if you don't have Facebook, try to get me Facebook messenger. Cause that's the best way to get me quickest way to get me because I don't really be on my, my emails like that. Um, but it is just a blessing to be able to, you know, uh, being able to help people, being able to send awareness, being able to know I could start a community where we all can send loving vibes to each other because we go through so much you know we could be struggling with certain things and you know I try to let people know hey if you don't want to put your stuff out you know you can always get in touch with me you know on the side and talk to me whatever you got to talk about is totally confidential whatever we talk about is what we talk about you know it might bring up a, a different content like oh you know well this you know I won't sit up here and say what who, what they're going through or whatever, but I'm just like, ding, you know, I asked for content. Next thing you know, I might say something to this person about a certain thing, and then next thing you know, I'll get a vision real quick, and boom, there goes my content. But being able to do that and knowing I can help other people has really, truly been a blessing to me, and I love what I do. You know, y'all send me these beautiful comments, and there's times where I've cried so hard, and I'm just like, oh gosh, you know, and I'll let y'all know, y'all really tugged on my heartstrings because the beautiful things you send out. Um, the things that you say about my father is is truly a blessing. Knowing that my dad has made an impact on your life like that is really a blessing to me. You know, it's still a healing process to go through, you know, because I know a lot of people have loved my father and they still do. They listen to his music, but it's really hard when, you, you know, that's your family, you know. And it's just like I, I look at Paris and Blanket and all them and Prince Michael Jackson his kids and I, I really understand the things they go through how you know if your dad can be like a mega rock star or whatever it, it can really take a toll on you especially you know if they're you know people are constantly sharing pictures or constantly sharing things and things has been said you know I really feel for those those kids because they went through so much especially with their father being who he was and you know I can really relate to the things that they go through but being able to to do the things that I do has also truly been a blessing to me as well. So it's just like seeing people that have love for my dad it helps me heal a lot. You know, even though it's still a healing process for me to understand, you know, the things that went on with my father and not really knowing the things that went on and, you know, what caused his death or what, it, what I know what caused his death, but who is responsible for it. It's hard. But I know that, you know, um, time heals all wounds. It, it might take a time. But then there's answers, you know, that I'll get along the way as well. I just have to try to get patience for that. Knowing I'm a Taurus, I don't have patience. But I know it's like with this journey and this situation, it has made me have patience. It's like when you're an empath and you go through things and you pray to God or whoever you pray to, it's like, give me faith, give me strength, give me patience. They have a way of putting things in your life where it will make you have faith. It will make you teach yourself to have patience. Um, giving you strength in places that you never thought you could ever have them. You know, um, I, my faith is, my faith and my strength is tested constantly. 
you know, being able to help other people and being able, it, it's a good thing when you can relate to other people, being open about yourself. It makes other people comfortable with them wanting to share with you. You know, I never want, you know, I'll tell you I'm an open book to a certain extent. You know, I don't talk about my family members or anything like that unless it's my father and there's still certain things I don't put about, you know, my father either. But, you know, I open up on the things that, you know, I know other people can relate to. You know, we, we have had loved ones that are lost. We've been a subject of abuse. Um, some of us um, have been addicted to certain things, you know, and I don't want people to always think when I say addiction, it always has to have something to do with drugs. It can be thought process. It can be how you project yourself, how things you respond to, how you push out certain things. Those can be addic addictions as well. So being able to do that and sending blessings out to people and being able to help people on a level that you never thought you probably can do is truly a blessing. It humbles you. Um, it lets you know that you're doing, you know, you're doing your part for humanity. Being able to help people come aware and come comfortable and let them know, hey, yeah, I know you're going through things like this, but this things that you're going through right now is going to make you stronger than you ever thought you could imagine. Um, being able to see yourself in a light that you never thought you would be able to, you know, knowing, yeah, you might have went through this, but you don't have to become a billboard of things that you have went through. You don't have to be a product of the things that's been placed in your life. You can be able to use that as a platform to say, you know what, I went through this, but I've healed from it as well. So being able to do those certain things, you know, you should give yourself a pat on the back. You know, um, I know y'all really went through a lot of things. There's things that you have told me about and there's things you haven't. You know, I can feel your energy uh, to know that, you know, you've been through a lot of things because y'all have touched my heart in ways I, I never imagined. You know, and I, I see a lot of things that, you know, my dad used to do and he would get really emotional and I, I can feel that coming when I come from you with the love that y'all send me back and I, I'm just so grateful for that you know and it's just the experiences that I've had and the moments I've shared with y'all has really humbled my heart and humbled my situation to know that you know you should never take anything for granted you know if you're able to help people and you're helping people without asking for anything in return is the best way to do things so I hope you were able to relate to this. Um, so now so much love and light. And I hope uh, you have a blessed, safe weekend and you have a prosperous week starting at the beginning of the week tomorrow. And, you know, like and subscribe. Drop me a line to let me know, you know, if you've been feeling that. You've been getting, you've been projecting love out and you've been getting it back in return. It's truly a blessing being able to help other people that have fallen short in life. To know, hey, you know, it's okay. You know, let them know that you, they can talk to you. And be able to send that love because you were that person as well once too. Um, I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Christy Mize, uh, Jonas Cone, uh, Cologne, uh, Four Fourths. And uh, Mandy, much love to you as well. And I will see you in my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. And stay prosperous, stay blessed, and I love y'all. Peace. Meanwhile.